Hello guys, welcome to the English Easier with Eric. In this video, you will listen to some daily English conversations in different situations and places. Definitely, you will learn useful vocabulary, phrases, and improve your English speaking and listening skills. Let's take a look. I will call you later. Hey, I wanted to discuss the project with you. Do you have a few minutes? Actually, I'm in the middle of something right now. Can we talk later? Sure, no problem. When would be a good time? How about in an hour? I should be finished with what I'm working on by then. Sounds good. I'll give you a call then. Actually, would it be okay if I called you instead? I have a meeting right after I finish up here, and I don't want to forget to call you back. Sure, that's fine. I'll be available. Just let me know when you're ready to talk. Great, I appreciate it. I'll call you in about an hour, then. All right, I'll be waiting for your call. Talk to you soon. Sounds good. Bye for now. Bye. One hour later. Hey, it's me. Are you available to talk about the project now? Yes, I'm available. Let's discuss it now. Hey. I wanted to discuss long time no see. Long time no see. How have you been? I've been doing well. Thanks for asking. It has been such a long time since we last saw each other. How about you? I've been good too. Just keeping busy with work and other stuff. It's great to finally catch up with you after all this time. Yeah, it really is. So, what have you been up to lately? Mostly work, as I mentioned. I've been working on some exciting projects that have been keeping me busy. Zzz. What about you? Any big news? Well, I recently got a new job, which has been keeping me quite busy as well. But it's been going great so far. That's fantastic! Congratulations! What kind of work are you doing now? I'm working as a graphic designer for a marketing firm. It's been challenging, but also very rewarding. That sounds like a lot of fun. It's always great to hear when someone finds a job they enjoy. Yes, definitely. So, what are your plans for the rest of the day? Want to grab a coffee or something? Sure, that sounds great. It'll be nice to catch up some more. Payment. That was a fantastic meal. Do you want to split the check? Sure, that sounds fair. I had the steak and a glass of wine. What about you? I had the pasta and a soda. Are you ready for the check? Yes, please. Can we have separate checks? Of course, I'll take care of that for you. Here are your bills. Do you need any change? No, I'll just leave the exact amount. Can I pay by card? Absolutely. We accept all major credit cards. Just give me your card when you're ready. Here you go. Thank you. You can add a tip and sign here. What's the standard tip in this area? It's usually 15 to 20 percent of the total bill, but it's up to you. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. That was a great meal. We should come back here again. Definitely, I had a great time. Me too. Let's plan another dinner soon. Sounds good to me. Renting an apartment.
Hi, I'm interested in renting one of your apartments. Do you have any availability? Yes, we do. What size unit are you looking for? And when were you hoping to move in? I'm looking for a one bedroom apartment, and I'd like to move in as soon as possible. Okay, great. We have a few units available that might work for you. Let me show you around, and we can go over the details. Sounds good. What's the rent for a one bedroom unit? Our one bedrooms start at $1,200 a month, but the price can vary depending on the location and size of the unit. That's within my budget. And what's included in the rent? The rent includes water, sewage, and trash. You would be responsible for your own electric and gas bills. Got it. And what's the security deposit? Our security deposit is one month's rent. We also run a credit and background check on all applicants. Okay, that makes sense. Do you require a lease or is it month to month? We do require a lease. Our standard lease term is 12 months, but we can offer shorter or longer terms if needed. All right, I'm interested. What do I need to do to apply? Just fill out an application and provide proof of income, as well as your credit and background information. We can get started on the process right now if you're ready. Yeah, let's do it. Thanks for your help. Getting lost. Oh no, we're completely lost. I can't believe we took the wrong turn. Don't panic. Let's try to figure out where we are. Do you remember any landmarks or signs from before we got lost? I remember passing a gas station a few minutes ago, but I didn't pay attention to the name or anything. And there was a big blue billboard advertising a restaurant. That's a start. Let's keep driving and see if we come across any familiar places. Maybe we can find our way back using those landmarks. I hope so. I'm starting to feel really disoriented. It's like we're in a completely different area. Take a deep breath and stay calm. We'll find our way back. Let's look for street signs and try to get our bearings. Maybe we can ask for directions if we spot someone. You're right. We shouldn't give up hope. Look, there's a person walking on the sidewalk. Let's pull over and ask them for directions. Good idea. Are you struggling with how to give advice in English? Look no further. Our video will teach you all the ways to offer helpful guidance to your friends and colleagues in various situations. From expressing concern to making suggestions, we've got you covered. Plus, stay tuned until the end for some practical tips on how to give advice effectively. Don't miss out on this opportunity to improve your communication skills. Hello, guys. Welcome to the English Easier with Eric. In this video, you will listen to some daily English conversations in different situations and places. Definitely, you will learn useful vocabulary, phrases, and improve your English speaking and listening skills. Let's take a look. You might want to. I'm thinking about starting a new exercise routine, but I'm not sure where to begin. You might want to consider trying a few different types of exercises to see what you enjoy and what works best for your body. That's a good idea. Do you have any suggestions? Well, you might want to try strength training, cardio, yoga, or Pilates. Each has its own benefits, and you might find that you enjoy one more than the others. Okay, I'll look into those. What else can I do? 
you might want to consider working with a personal trainer or attending a group fitness class. They can help you develop a personalized workout plan and provide guidance and support along the way. That's a good suggestion. Do you have any other advice? You might also want to make sure you're fueling your body with the right nutrients before and after your workouts and getting enough rest and recovery time. Those are all great points. Thanks for the advice. No problem. Remember, the most important thing is to find an exercise routine that you enjoy and that you can stick with over the long term. Why don't you? I'm feeling really stressed lately and don't know how to relax. Why don't you try some relaxation techniques, like deep breathing or meditation? I've heard about those, but I'm not sure how to do them. Well, for deep breathing, you can inhale deeply through your nose for a count of four, hold for a count of four, and then exhale slowly through your mouth for a count of eight. Repeat this a few times and you should start to feel more relaxed. That sounds simple enough. What about meditation? There are many different types of meditation, but one simple technique is to sit quietly and focus on your breath. When your mind wanders, simply bring your attention back to your breath. You can start with just a few minutes a day and gradually work up to longer periods of time. Okay, I'll give those a try. Do you have any other suggestions? Why don't you also try incorporating some physical activity into your routine? Exercise can be a great stress reliever and help you feel more relaxed overall. That's a good idea. Thanks for the advice. No problem. Remember, it's important to take care of yourself and prioritize your well-being. In my experience, I'm nervous about giving a presentation at work tomorrow. I don't want to mess up in front of my colleagues. I understand how you feel. In my experience, preparation is key. What do you mean? Well, make sure you rehearsed your presentation several times and know the material inside and out. That way, you'll feel more confident when it's time to present. That's a good point. Do you have any other advice? In my experience, it can also be helpful to visualize yourself giving a successful presentation. Imagine yourself speaking confidently and clearly and receiving positive feedback from your audience. I'll try that. Thanks for the advice. You're welcome. And remember, it's okay to make mistakes. Everyone does, and it's an opportunity to learn and improve. That's a good perspective to have. Thanks for the encouragement. No problem. You've got this. I suggest or I recommend. I'm trying to eat healthier, but I'm not sure where to start. I suggest focusing on whole, nutrient-dense foods like fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins. 
Okay, that makes sense. Do you have any other recommendations? I recommend trying to limit processed foods, sugary drinks, and unhealthy fats. That's a good point. What else can I do? I suggest planning out your meals and snacks ahead of time, so you're less likely to reach for unhealthy options when you're hungry. That's a good idea. Do you have any tips for meal planning? I recommend finding healthy recipes that you enjoy and making a grocery list before you go shopping. That way, you'll have everything you need on hand to make healthy meals throughout the week. That sounds doable. Thanks for the advice. No problem. Remember, making small changes over time can lead to big improvements in your health and well-being. Giving advice is an important part of communication, whether it's in a personal or professional context. Here are some ways to give advice in English. You should or ought to to offer a suggestion. You should try the seafood pasta. It's one of the most popular dishes here. Use it might be a good idea to suggest an option. It might be a good idea to call ahead and make a reservation. Use if I were you to offer a personal opinion. If I were you, I'd order the steak medium rare. Use have you considered to offer a new perspective? Have you considered trying the daily special? It's always a surprise and usually delicious. Use in my experience. To offer advice based on personal experience. In my experience, the tiramisu is the best dessert on the menu. Use you might want to to suggest a course of action. You might want to ask the waiter for recommendations if you're not sure what to order. Use I suggest or I recommend to offer a direct suggestion. I suggest you start with the Caesar salad. It's a classic. Use why don't you to offer a casual suggestion. Why don't you try the pizza? It's one of my favorites. Remember that when giving advice, it's important to be polite and respectful of the other person's choices and preferences. Smart. Are you struggling with how to give advice in English? Look no further. Our video will teach you all the ways to offer helpful guidance to your friends and colleagues in various situations. From expressing concern to making suggestions, we've got you covered. Plus, stay tuned until the end for some practical tips on how to give advice effectively. Don't miss out on this opportunity to improve your communication skills. Hello, guys. Welcome to the English Easier with Eric. In this video, you will listen to some daily English conversations in different situations and places. Definitely, you will learn useful vocabulary, phrases, and improve your English speaking and listening skills. Let's take a look. Should or ought to. Hey, can I ask for your advice on something? Sure. What's on your mind? Well, I've been thinking about taking a trip to Europe, but I'm not sure if I should go alone or with a friend. Hmm, that's a tough decision. I think you should consider a few things before making a choice. Like what? Well, first, think about your travel style. Are you someone who enjoys exploring new places on your own? Or do you prefer having someone to share the experience with? I see what you mean. I think I'm more of a solo traveler, but I'm a little nervous about navigating a new city alone. That's understandable. You should research the places you want to visit and plan your itinerary carefully. 
you might also consider staying in a hostel or a homestay to meet other travelers. Those are great ideas. Thanks for the advice. I ought to start planning my trip soon. Absolutely. And don't forget to pack light and bring a good camera. It might be a good idea. Hey, I've been thinking about taking up a new hobby. What do you think I should do? Well, that depends. What are you interested in? I'm not really sure. I was thinking maybe I could start painting or something. Um, it might be a good idea to try a few different things before you commit to one. Maybe you could take a class or workshop to see what you enjoy. That's a good suggestion. Do you have any other ideas? Well, have you considered joining a sports team or taking up a musical instrument? I've never been very athletic, but learning an instrument sounds interesting. Great! It might be a good idea to rent or borrow an instrument to see if you enjoy it before investing in one. I hadn't thought of that. Thanks for the advice. No problem. Remember, the most important thing is to have fun and enjoy the process of learning something new. Have you considered? I'm having trouble sleeping lately. I've tried everything, but nothing seems to work. Have you considered establishing a consistent sleep routine? What do you mean? Well, going to bed and waking up at the same time every day can help regulate your body's natural sleep-wake cycle. That's a good idea. Do you have any other suggestions? Have you considered limiting your screen time before bed? The blue light emitted by electronic devices can interfere with your ability to fall asleep. I haven't thought of that. What else can I do? You might also try creating a relaxing environment in your bedroom, such as using blackout curtains, white noise machines, or aromatherapy diffusers. Those are great ideas. I'll definitely try them out. Thanks for the advice. No problem. Remember, getting a good night's sleep is crucial for your overall health and well-being. If I were you. Hey, I'm thinking about applying for a new job, but I'm not sure if it's the right move. What's holding you back? Well, I'm not sure if I'm qualified enough for the position. And I'm worried about leaving my current job. I understand your concerns, but if I were you, I would consider the potential for growth and learning in the new position. That's a good point. I just don't want to end up in a job that I don't enjoy. That's understandable. If I were you, I would do some research on the company and the position to see if it aligns with your goals and values. Okay, that makes sense. Do you have any other advice? I would also suggest reaching out to people who work at the company or in similar roles to get a better sense of what the job is like and what the culture is like.
That's a great idea. Thanks for the advice. If I do decide to apply, I'll make sure to do my homework first. Good luck. Remember, sometimes taking a risk can lead to great rewards. Are you struggling to say no in English without feeling guilty or rude? It can be difficult to refuse others while still maintaining a positive relationship, but it's an important skill to have. In this video, we'll show you practical and polite ways to refuse others in English. We'll provide you with common phrases and a structure for refusing others so you can confidently handle these situations with ease. And stay tuned until the end because we'll also give you tips on how to end the conversation on a positive note so you can maintain good relationships with the people around you. Don't miss out on this essential English skill. Watch our video on ways to refuse others in English now. Hello guys, welcome to the English Easier with Eric. In this video, you will listen to some daily English conversations in different situations and places. Definitely, you will learn useful vocabulary, phrases, and improve your English speaking and listening skills. Let's take a look. I'm sorry, but I don't feel comfortable with that request. Hey, I was wondering if you could lend me some money to help me out with a bill that came up unexpectedly. I'm sorry, but I don't feel comfortable with that request. Oh, okay. Is there a specific reason why you don't want to lend me the money? It's not that I don't want to help you out, but I have to be careful with my own finances and I can't take the risk of lending money right now. I understand, and I appreciate your honesty. Do you have any suggestions on what I can do to get some help? Well, you could try talking to a financial advisor or maybe even look into getting a short-term loan from a bank. Okay, thank you for the suggestion. I'll look into that. No problem. I hope things work out for you. Thanks. I appreciate it. And I'm sorry if I put you in an awkward position. It's okay, I understand that things come up unexpectedly sometimes. I'm afraid I won't be able to make it to the event. Hey, are you still planning on coming to the charity event next weekend? I'm afraid I won't be able to make it to the event. I have a family emergency that I need to attend to. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that. Is everything okay? Yes, thankfully it's nothing serious, but I still need to take care of it. Of course, family always comes first. We'll miss you at the event, but we completely understand. Thank you. I appreciate your understanding. Is there anything I can do to still contribute to the charity in some way? Actually, yes. We're still accepting donations and volunteers to help with the event. Set up and clean up. Would you be interested in helping out in some other way? Yes, that sounds great. I'd love to help out in any way that I can. That's wonderful, thank you. I'll send you more information on how you can help out. Great, I'll be sure to look out for it. Thanks for letting me know. No problem at all. Take care of your family and we'll see you at the next event. I appreciate your invitation, 
but I already have plans for that day. Hey, would you like to join me and a few friends for a barbecue next Saturday? Thank you for the invitation. I appreciate it. However, I already have plans for that day. Oh, that's too bad. What are you up to? I'm attending a friend's wedding, actually. It should be a really fun time. That sounds great. I hope you have a good time. Thank you. I'm really looking forward to it. Well, maybe we can get together another time. Absolutely. I would love to. How about we plan something for the following weekend? That works for me. Do you have any ideas on what we could do? How about we try out that new restaurant that just opened up downtown? That sounds perfect. I've been wanting to try it out myself. Great. I'll make the reservations and let you know the details. Thanks, I appreciate it. And have fun at the wedding next weekend. I will. Thanks for understanding about the barbecue. I'm sorry, but I can't help you with that right now. Hey, do you have any spare time this week? I need some help with moving my furniture to my new apartment. I'm sorry, but I can't help you with that right now. I have a busy schedule this week. Oh, that's too bad. Do you think you'll have time next week? I'm not sure yet. My work schedule is pretty hectic at the moment. Well, I really need the help. Would it be possible for you to rearrange your schedule a bit? I'm sorry, but I don't think I can. I have a lot of important tasks that need to be completed this week. All right, I understand. Thanks for letting me know. No problem. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, it's okay. I'll try to find someone else to help me out. Thanks anyway. You're welcome. Let me know if you need anything else in the future. When refusing someone in English, it is important to be polite and respectful. Here is a basic structure that you can use to refuse someone in a kind and clear manner. Thank the person. Start by expressing gratitude for the offer or request. This shows that you appreciate their thoughtfulness and consideration. Explain the reason. Provide a brief explanation for why you cannot fulfill their request or accept their offer. This helps the person understand your decision and shows that you are not just brushing them off. Apologize, even if you do not feel at fault. It is polite to apologize for not being able to help the person. This shows that you recognize their needs and feelings, and that you regret not being able to meet them. Offer an alternative, optional, if possible, suggest an alternative that may be helpful to the person. This shows that you are still interested in helping them, even if you cannot fulfill their original request. Express good wishes, end the conversation on a positive note by wishing the person well. This shows that you still value their relationship and that your refusal was not personal. Here is an example of how to use this structure. Thank you so much for considering me for the project. Unfortunately, I won't be able to take it on at this time, because I have too many other commitments. I'm really sorry for any inconvenience this may cause. If you need any recommendations for other people who could help you, I would be happy to suggest some names. Best of luck with the project, and I hope it goes well. Savage.
Did you see what Jamie did at the party last night? No, what happened? She totally called out that guy for hitting on her friend. It was savage. Damn, that's bold. But you gotta respect someone who stands up for their friends like that. Yeah, Jamie is definitely a savage when it comes to protecting her squad. Speaking of savage, did you hear about the MMA fighter who won his match in under a minute? No way. That's insane. He must be one savage fighter. Definitely. I saw the video and he just took his opponent down and submitted him in no time. That's some next level savagery right there. For sure. But sometimes you gotta be a savage to get what you want in life. Yeah, like that time you negotiated your salary and got a raise. You were a total savage in that meeting. Haha. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you gotta channel your inner savage to get what you deserve. Gucci. Hey, what's up? You ready for the party tonight? Oh yeah, I'm hella Gucci. I got my outfit all planned out. Nice. What you wearing? I'm rocking this dope new jacket I got. It's hella Gucci, man. And I got some fresh kicks to match. Sounds fly, fam. I gotta make sure my outfit's on point too. For sure, you gotta look hella Gucci if you wanna get noticed at this party. I hear you. But it's not just about looking good, it's about having a good time too. Oh, trust me, we're gonna have a hella Gucci time. I heard the DJ is fire. Sweet, I'm down to dance all night. That's what I'm talking about. It's gonna be a hella lit party fam. No doubt. All right, let's get ready and head out. We don't want to be fashionably late. True that. Let's show up looking hella Gucci. Hella. Yo, what's up? You ready to hit the club tonight? Hell yeah, I'm hella down. It's gonna be lit. For sure, it's gonna be hella crowded though. You gotta be ready to push your way through the crowd. No worries, I'm hella good at that. I'm a pro at getting to the front of the stage. Haha, <laughs> true that. But you gotta make sure you don't spill your drink on anyone, fam. Don't worry, I got this. I'm hella coordinated. Ain't no one gonna mess with my drink. Alright, cool. We should probably head out soon though. The line is hella long? Damn really. That's hella whack. But I'm ready to wait it out. I'm hella excited for tonight. Me too, fam. We're gonna have hella fun. Alright, let's bounce. Hell yeah, let's do this. Fam. They tell me that I'm never gonna make it. They want me to do something that could make sense. They Yo, what's good, fam? How you been? Not much, just chillin'. I've been good. Thanks for asking. What about you? Same here, just grinding and hustling. You know how it is. Yeah, I feel you. It's all about that paper, fam. For real, for real. But you gotta make sure you take care of yourself too, you know. 
You can't be grinding all the time and neglecting your health. True that, fam. Gotta keep a balance, otherwise you'll burn out. Exactly. So, what you up to later? You trying to link up? Nah, I gotta run some errands and then hit the gym. But we should definitely link up soon though, fam. Bet, let's do that. Hit me up when you're free. For sure, fam. Talk to you later. Peace out, bro. They tell me that I'm never gonna make Lit. In my veins, I've been driving this train Years in this lane, there's no stop in this flame Cause I came to the- Yo, did you go to that party last night? Yeah, it was lit The music was fire and the vibes were great Damn, I wish I could've gone Did you see anyone we know? Yeah, I ran into John and his crew they were all getting turned up on the dance floor. Nice. I heard they always know how to get the party started. Yeah, they definitely brought the energy. But you know who else was there? Sarah, the girl you have a crush on. No way. Was she with anyone? Nah, she was flying solo. I saw her talking to some people, but she looked like she was having a good time. Damn, I wish I could have been there to talk to her. But hey... Thanks for letting me know. Maybe I'll hit her up and see if she wants to hang out sometime. For sure, bro. That party was lit, but I'm ready for the next one already. <clears throat> Ice in my veins, I've been driving this train. Smart ways to improve your speaking skills. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakers. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Statement, the top is so vacant. I don't need shit that I think is amazing. Waiting for my day when I'm playing. Sold out shows for a thousand faces. Hey, give me that crown. Getting my way in to be put down. It ain't your place. All this my town. If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now. I'm losing it. The noose it fits. I'm losing shit. A stupid myth. You choose to live or choose to dip. You choose to fight. And that's it for today's English lesson. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more English language learning videos. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below and we'll do our best to respond. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future English lessons. And if you want to take your English learning to the next level, check out our channel more often. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next English lesson.